This is gonna be a good one. Look here. If y'all just tuned in, you should tune in. This damn Canadian, this damn Canadian, no kidding. So now I have to suspect it. I gotta think I'm gonna take this stuff out, man. Cause I don't like this. This is what I always say. This is what I always say. Bye, America. Bye, America. Ray, you're angry. Don't do this. Oh, I on the Wi-Fi. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I try to tell you. I try to tell you. This is live show. This is how I really go down. This is how I really go down. Hold on. Let me see how I do. Let me see how I do this. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. So what happened? What happened? It was raised. If this was unconventional, I would have to be ready. I would have to be ready. You are my show. You are my show. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, here we go. Wait, my wife. Wait, my wife. Hold on. What am I trying to do? What am I trying to do? I probably don't have too much. I probably don't have too much red clip. Oh, that's gonna be a problem for you, because you're gonna have to be sharp. I want to really break down a lot of the points that you made on my last show. On my last show. No, nah, when I seen you talking about Melrose, the fact that the fact I'm that a I'm a dude. Don't do that, man. But this is this is the bottom line. What one of us is going to be very embarrassed after tomorrow? I'm embarrassed because really, if I'm wrong, which I'm most likely not, but I it's it's track. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever. It shit happens, yo. But I'm pretty confident in what I'm what I'm thinking is gonna right. happen. That's right. That's right. That's right. No, 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 I know I got the echo. I know I got the echo. She's Ray Wayne. What's up, bro? Listen, listen. Y'all have been watching Ray and been watching Ray and Tate for how long? We ain't never had, we ain't no, never had no problem to a thing. Why are you being so disrespectful? We ain't never had any type of communication. They're saying they're hearing the echo. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I wonder why. I don't know why. I'm, 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 I'm saying. I got headphones. I got headphones. I'm saying. I got headphones. I got headphones. Man, it's you. Man, it's you. That's why. I, that's why. It's echo. me. Yes, you. Yes, you. Think about it. Think about it. Talk 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 No. Move him off my show. Can y'all can y'all hear me finally? Can I can I can y'all hear me? Y'all can hear me fine, can't y'all? Oh, is it still echo? Is it still echoing? Is it still echoing? Is still echoing? So, so is my microphone? Is my microphone doing the echoing? Oh, am I good in that? Am I good in that? Somebody say something. Am I good or am I echoing? Cause I feel like it was his stuff. Told y'all it wasn't me, Jack. See, I be trying to tell y'all, man, I ain't crazy. I'm saying you're like, man, that ain't me echoing. Bro, that is you and your Canadian hardwired stuff. I knew I went crazy. I appreciate y'all. I, I appreciate y'all. I knew I went damn crazy. I'm trying to bring him back on the show. Hey, man, you better get your stuff together, man. Figure it out. Man, let's do this. Boy. Yeah, I knew he was the one bringing all that, making all that nonsense, man. Where's he at? There was yours. See, cause I can't even hear me now. Y'all can hear me. Y'all can hear me, right? 
I can hear me. I can hear me talking. I can hear everything. I see y'all. Y'all see me. Ain't no echo. You know what I'm saying? Man. Oh, he coming back. He'll be back. He'll be back. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ride it. Oh, I'm gonna ride him. I'm ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on back in, Jack. You gotta take this. You gotta take this whoop of the night, boy. He trying to run, y'all. He trying. He look. He see. I know. I know the trick he tried to do. He tried to put the echo on. So when I was talking, y'all wouldn't be able to hear my facts. I'm about to drop on him. I, I know all the reporting tricks, man. I know what they be trying to do. They try and come on my show and not debate me. You cannot debate me on my own show. Can't even do it. The goat. It's red cup race. <laughs> you might do. And there was some water. You might know. And there was some water. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Happy Friday night. Happy Friday night. Oh, uh, hold on. Oh, I gotta tell him to come on back in here. Oh, I gotta pull y'all up over here too, so I can see y'all on on my on on the pad over here. Do 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 Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? I want to talk to y'all. Oh, there y'all go. Man, I look kind of good on that TV screen, man. Let me see. Well, so we waiting on him. Let's do a roll call. Oh, oh the Canadian is back. All right. And let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's, let's see what happens. Man, I just sent you the thing. So I was like, how do you get back in? See? Hold on. Get his boy. Let me get his boy link in. There you go. All right. Well, you know, uh, while we wait on it. We might as well give him or give y'all a roll call. Who off in this thing, man? Uh, Alex Learns. What's going on? Joe, my boy Joe, my ninja. I appreciate you being here. Appreciate you for being here. Who else in here? Literally no man. Hold on, I'm finna my roll call before I lay home back in. Who else here? My mother is in here. Denise Edwards. Hey, y'all, that's my mother. Denise Edwards. So I'm gonna let y'all know it's my mama right there. So we y'all get to talk crazy, just know that I ain't gonna do it. That if y'all go crazy toward that lady, that's that's my mom. And when she snap back, I ain't gonna do it. That all right? I ain't gonna do it. That I ain't Troy. What's the deal, baby? What's the deal? What is the deal? Black Power Network, New Orleans in the highs. I'm no, all right. I'm gonna let this Canadian back in then. Yo, we showing up in. I'm gonna see now. Don't you come in here? Hey, don't you come? Hey, don't you come in here? Check, check, check. He did again, y'all. He did again, y'all. It's echoing? He did again. He did again. What's going on? He did again. He did again. We were fine. We were fine. When I say, 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 when I Am I crisp? You're crisp. You're crispy echoing. echoing. I'm echoing still. You making me? Echo. You making me echo? What is going on? Right now? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. See? See? Every time I say something, no, every time I say something, something. Oh, check, check. come on your screen. Come on your screen. What is going on? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. See? I hear See? that. I duh. I duh. <laughs> that don't make no sense. Yeah, hold up. I know what I'm going to do. I know exactly what I'm going to do, Ray. And, 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 and this is the guy and somebody to win tomorrow. <laughs> You're being very disrespectful. You're being very disrespectful. I'm going to go back to the fans. I'm going to go back yeah. to the fans. Why you big? Yeah, do that Why you big? I think I know what you did. Yeah. I think I know what you did. I think I know what you got, I I know know what you got going on. I'm about to ask the engineer. I'm about to ask the engineer. Black thing in the bathroom. Black thing in the bathroom. Okay. Dress her Steve. Dress her Steve. This man got me. This man got on me echoed on his. What could that be? He's actually real. He's actually real engineer. Sorry. 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 There it is. There it is. Echo. You got the speaker on. You got the speaker on. The speaker is in the microphone. Check. Yo, yo. Still echoing? Let me hear it. 
Say something real quick. I'm saying something. I'm saying something. I'm echoing. I'm echoing. Black Power Network. Black Power Network said you got two sources going on. Everybody's saying. Everybody's saying it's you, bro. I do. I know what it is. It could be me too. It could be me too. Hold on. It better not be after all, everything you're saying right now. Hey, yo, listen to me. If so it's hoping, you, so hoping, if it's you, I think it's you. They might be. They might be. They might be. Hold on. My mama says. My mama says you. Will music. Will music. I respect. You respect uh, Mama Ray, <laughs> but your boy got some issues right now that I know are your fault. They go astray hey, sometimes, hold Mama Ray. Hold on. Hold on. Press the wrong button. Press the wrong button. See, this is why this the is why the red cook the big episodes. Right. Oh, more, more. I'm looking for my settings. I go to my audio. I go to my audio. I do. I do. All right. All right. Let's see what happened now. Let's see what happened now. Okay. Okay. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? If it's the echo and blow, if it's the echo and blow for sure, yo, I don't want to change my mic set and everything. I'm gonna unplug my microphone. Let me do that. Shirt mic, shirt mic. Let me see. I'm gonna go regulate. I'm gonna go regulation mic. Okay, watch this. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Mama, mama, you can shut your volume down, 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 Every time he ain't on this thing, man, that's why we got to tell this man, hey, man, it's you, Jack. It's you. You you messing up the show. That, that must be a sign. That must be a sign from God. God is literally telling this man, don't come on here with these blasphemous facts. That's, that's all it is. That's all. You can't come on here with these blasphemous facts that you've been trying to drop on these folk, man, and try to feel. You know what I'm saying? It go- Hey, hey, because it, it's go every time I'm on here, there ain't gonna be no echo. Is every time the Canadian come on here, man? I'm finna just like let him be on my show. I'm finna go bring my other person on. Hold on, where he at? Where he at? Let me go, cause I got to beat up on somebody tonight in this debate. I knew he was gonna try and run. Let me let me go to my boy Track World News. Come on with it. Let me beat up on him. What the hell? I know the goat. And we ain't had no issues. We ain't had no issues. I try to tell y'all. Oh, he try. He, he try to come back in again. We gonna see. There you go. My again. mic sounds good. My mic sounds nice. You can. You I can echo it now. I don't hear I don't hear no echo. I don't hear no echo. Why yo, why your mom gotta be in here though, man? Okay, I don't so now we should be good. Mom, so now if I go in here to my settings and I put this back on like this right here, you better not mess up my stuff, Jack. You mess up my stuff. <laughs> hey. Yo. Yeah. echo there? I don't hear no echo. Can you hear me? I don't hear no echo either, man. Look. You hear no echo no more, do you, huh? Nah, Look, but check it. Gentlemen. I need to put this in my let Instagram this, let, too. Let, let, let this be, let this be, let this be known, ladies and gentlemen. That this is why I can't debate people like this. You know what I'm saying? Even a debate as simple as whose sound is echoing. He won't argue me up and down. Why are you being so rude? Come try and cheer me. I'm like, I, I haven't I, even I, had a chance I, to be disrespectful I, yet. I don't think it's I, my sound. 
You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, I'm saying, like, you know, I'm a musician. And stuff, I think you, know, you I think you plotted this. But the engineer, I, right? There, you know, we all the, saying this. Like, bro, we really gonna say it. You play stuff, chess. Like, you play chess, don't you? You play chess. I know stuff. Apparently, you play I chess, don't you? You, like, I look, man, you look, play I, chess. You pl you play chess. Let me wait, explain wait, what no, just happened. You you portrayed an audio issue on my end to affect my credibility with the viewers. Amazing chess move. That is Ray. That might be the smartest thing you've ever done in your life. You might be. I right. commend you for that. You might be right. I smartest commend you for thing, that. The smartest but watch thing I've done in my life was listen to, listen it, to that much bull crap. That's a, and, and not lose it and not spill my drink. I don't listen, That's man. The thing I, ever did in my life. I, I see the other chess move. I see the other chess move. Right there. The other chess can move. Can we get the track and field? Can we talk about track and field? Chess move. You got your mom in here, so I don't want to embarrass you because I don't want to do that in front of Mama, Mama Ray. Know every show. Mama, 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 it's a show. That's a real. Well, mother. I don't want to embarrass you in front of Mama Ray. Matter of fact, shout out to your mother. Hey mama. Respect. Mama, hey mama Anson. I'm sorry right, yo, listen, about listen. to your son, but whatever, man. I feel listen. Up. I feel <laughs> let's, let's just get into it, man. We we just have some very different views as far as how tomorrow's gonna go. And that's okay. cool. You know what I'm saying? But check this. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I know Marvin's your pick, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, now let me say this, okay? I like Marvin. Bracey Williams, Bracey Williams. I like him as a sprinter. I honestly feel like he could possibly be like, I seen his tweets and I hear like people that train with him stuff say he's a joker, he's a clown, you know what I'm saying? He's out, he stay talking shit, you know what I'm saying? He's got a personality. I think he could be a really good personality for the sport. I'm rooting for someone like that. You know what I'm saying? Here's my issue with what he was saying the other day. Let me, and before I actually, before I even go into that, like, once he's upright in his upright running form, he's better than anyone in the States right now. I want to make that very clear. He has all the tools. Okay. My issue with the interview is that I don't like the whole football part. I didn't really like how he was big enough football over track like that. Now I understand there's an opinion, right? But you do this now. You're a track athlete. So the product that you're a part of is the one that you got to be boosting all the time. You know what I'm saying? You can't be, you can't be you can't be in a position where you're trying to be the fastest man in the world, but you still think football is a better sport than track or you enjoyed well, it more than that. track. Hold on now. Hold on now. I gotta stop you there. I gotta stop you there because what you're saying, that's not fair. It's not fair to say. It's not fair to say to anybody. No, let me continue. I, no, I, no, no, I, I, I think track is one of the greatest things ever. But if you ask me, would I rather play with Tom Brady or would I rather hand the stick off to Dan Gold Tyson Gay? I'm probably gonna say I'd rather play with Tom Brady. What are you saying like right okay. now? I don't understand what you okay. mean by that. No, like, no, let me no, let, let right? me explain further. Let me explain further. To be the fastest man in the world, okay, track has to be of the utmost priority in your thoughts, in your passions, in your in, in what you want in life. Right. Now, if we're talking about hundreds of seconds that we're trying to get all the time, everything has to be going down the lane. Every single thing. I don't care if he likes football more. If you're going to be the fastest man in the world, you, you can't even have that in your mind. And on top of that, if you hold that position, not only are you the fastest man in the world, but you have the responsibility of pushing the sport forward, pushing the culture forward. You can't be up there in, in the number one spot talking about football is better. That doesn't even make any sense. So, so in, 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 as far as that's concerned, and as far as how he's portraying that, I'm, I'm not saying he has to like track better. I'm saying he can't portray that. If he's going for that number one spot, he's going to have a lot of responsibility as far as that's concerned. And also, something he needs to think about if he's trying to get down the track faster is how he's really... How he really perceives track and field, you know, because because I anybody that's been the fastest man in the world in the past and a lot of the guys that he's racing now, track is the sport. You know, they're not thinking about nothing else. That's it. That any and, and any football player, even if they like track better, they would never say it. They would never say it. You know, he can't he can't say that. He can't portray that. And if he's going to be in that spot, he's got to start acting like he's in that spot. You know, and if you're in that spot, you could never say football is better in any way. And it's not. Let me make that very clear too. Very clear too. Listen, track and field is where you really see what the track and field. Track and field is where you really see what the human body is capable of. Now, from an entertainment standpoint, it sucks. From a sports standpoint, there's no sport better, yo. In every way, in every way, you see what the body can really do, male and female. 
So all I'm saying is this is this is the this is the what people have to understand in track and field. Just because there's no money in the sport doesn't mean the sport sucks. The money will come, but you got to push the product. You got to make. If you're talking about another sport's better, why would anybody want to put money in the sport when you don't even think your sport's good? That's like that's like I got a girl, but this girl I used to talk to though, she's way better than what I got now. You can't do that. I mean, but but what if it's true though? Like you can't say it. You can't say it. You can't say it. My point is, you can't say it. And if he really wants that spot, he really has to think about that. That's all I'm saying. Because he, yo man, he has the tools. Yeah, I don't know if he's got the tools for tomorrow, but he's got the tools. Do you disagree with, any, with anything I just said just now, though? We're not I talking totally about Miller Rose I disagree yet. with almost everything you just said, and that completely... B- 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 well, you, I had an issue with you, too, because you were doing the same thing. You were okay. doing the same thing as he was, pretty okay. much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And listen, as a, as, a, as a broadcaster now, you are, you are Ray. You are track and field Ray. The sport that you give analysis to has to be the best sport around. It has to be. And I know you feel like that deep down. It's just the money thing. Money makes it cloudy, yo. Money makes it cloudy because most track people are broke. The product, I watched Carl's lose today. It was boring as hell. It's the product is it's not being portrayed well. Here's what I'm going to say. Okay? Here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say I totally disagree with you for a couple of reasons, all right? I totally disagree with you because the question that was asked of Marvin Bracey was, how did you get to football? And then the other question that was asked was, what is the difference between football and track? So you wasn't doing your research and you wasn't doing your homework. No, 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 now, of course, preferably, I'm going to pick the one that's taken care of me. I don't give a damn which one I love. Like you said, I don't care if I really loved my ex-girlfriend to death. She didn't take care of me. She didn't even feed me. My new girlfriend feeds me. Or vice versa. My old girlfriend cooked for me. My new girlfriend, I love her, but she can't cook for a damn. All right, it was better over here. Why? Because she fed me. She rubbed my feet. She did everything. But I love this one now. I'm not going to Are you going to say it? But I love Are you going to say it? Will you say it? Let me finish talking. Let me finish talking. Let me finish talking. Let me finish talking. Okay? Hear me out. If it was a Trayvon Bromeo who said that, I'd give you that. Why? You're You're being heard. You're, you are the face of America. If it was a Shakari saying, I think women's basketball is better, you can't say that. Why? Because you're the voice. If I'm sitting here saying, I think this show is better than, than Ray's take or unconventional, I can't, you can't say that because we're the voice of it. Now, because of where he's at in track and field, he can voice his opinion because I love it to get up to death, but I'm just saying this for the show's sake. His, his opinion don't matter because Nobody will hear it. You see what I'm saying? I get your point. Your point is valid if it's a Trayvon, if it's a Fred Curling, if it's a Shakari. That's a valid point. You can't go around saying it. But now, if you try to Marvin Brace and Marvin Brace is really pulling to the forefront like, hey, as a matter of fact, I love this point so much. Hear me out. Look at it in depth. I love it so much. I love all that stuff that I just talked about. All that money. All that stuff. All that was great. But where am I at now? I could have kept training and trying to get back in the NFL. You know what I'm saying? Like, all I had to do was keep training. But it wasn't that. Like, you know what? Instead of me trying to get back in the NFL, I'm going to go to what I really look for. Now, I get what you're saying to where it's like, he can't say it that way. I totally disagree. You need to say it that way. You need to say track and field is boring as hell. Why? So people will start to understand. No, you that's need not. To say, listen. I would rather be playing football. Why? Because now I can tell you my whys. Now I can tell you why I'd rather play football. So now you can hear me. Well, here's why I'd rather play football. I'd rather play football because I had to sell my dog on Nike uniform for my rent. I'd rather not have to do that. I would rather play football because if I need to get an adjustment, I can go to the damn place and get it done. Now, if you're on an elite level of the top, then you – oh, come on. She carry – Shakari level is equivalent to somebody who's in the NFL that's like on the practice squad. She up there. Okay, she up there. And we talk about a Christian Coleman and his practice contract. Squad? Practice squad make 480000 Baby, come on, man. She up there. 
She gonna feel Okay, so you're just talking about from a money standpoint, not from, from a status standpoint. standpoint. From a money okay. standpoint, it's different. You know what I'm saying? So when you talk about the love for anything gonna come from the fact that I can eat, sleep, and do it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna sit here and be like, no, he shouldn't have said anything. No, no, he need to say it because people need to ask, why would you say that? And if people can ask, why would you say that? Then maybe we can explain to them why people prefer this sport over our sport. But based on what you said, I agree with. Track and field is the most, is the number one sport that you have to utilize your entire body. It is the chemistry makeup of the body that makes it so entertaining if you learn it. But they can't learn it unless you have people like Marvin Brayson being real ninjas and saying, this sport ain't about nothing. And here's why. Okay. I love it. But my wife, okay. right here, my wife, my girlfriend ain't about shit. Why? I love her now. I love the film. I love her now. We've been together for about 20 years. But she ain't about shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all he's saying. What's wrong with saying that? What's wrong with keeping it real? Keep it real. I love her. Listen. A few things. Okay, a few things. Originally, you had mentioned that if it was Trayvon, if it was Shikari, it was Gatlin, it was whoever. Mm -hmm. yeah. They can't say that. They can't okay. say it. So right now, from what I'm gathering, Marvin wants to be the fastest man in the world. This is correct. So why is he acting like he's not? If the fastest man in the world is not supposed to be doing that, why is he doing that? Because he's, he's satisfied with where he is, according to what you're saying. You're saying that only certain people shouldn't do that. So what is he trying to do? Is he trying to be where he is forever? I don't think so. Fake it till you make it sounds like a cliche statement, but it's not. If he really wants it, then be it, dude. You run track. Football's done, yo. You don't do that no more. You don't need to be talking about that no more and now it's better. And, and the thing is, from what I gathered from what he said, what I gathered, and you can, you can, maybe I misinterpreted it. What I gathered is, if he didn't get hurt, he wouldn't bother coming back to track. Right. And that's not that's not that's not that's not inspiring for for, for track people like or, or, or for people watching track. Why? Obviously. Football's better because he would do it if he was healthy. He kind of just do it doing track because it feels like I'm not saying that's how it really feels. I'm saying that's what how portrayed. That's how it was portrayed. And that's what came out from what he said. That's all I'm saying. If we're talking entertainment, we know track and field is entertaining right now. We know that we know there's no money in track and field. But if we're going to base it totally on money. Then shit, it, does that mean golf's the best sport in the world? Hell yeah! What are, what are those? What do you mean? You like Come on, man. Are you are you going to be serious tonight or not? We know that golf's not better than football, track, basketball. It's well, not. It's just it's a rich what, person by sport, what yo. Standard, though. By what standard? Money doesn't define if a sport's better, dog. It's money what? does not define if a sport's better. Money, the money that you make in a sport, does not define if the sport is better. Okay. This what I, this, I'm going to ask you this question then. I'm going to ask you this question. From a business standpoint, what brings in the money for a sport? What brings in the money? Storytelling. Huh? Storytelling. 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 Yes. The story is being told better, much better in football, in basketball, in, in, in pretty much every Hear other sport. You paint out. the picture of a product. No, wait, wait. Hear me out. No, no, no. You paint the picture no, 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 of a product. No, no, no. You paint the picture There's of a product. No way. Here's the thing about it. The product will in, sell. In, in, in any sport, in any sport, golf, football, basketball, track, track. And that's why we all talk about track at the bottom. The fan base is what allows you to have the money. You but how do you get the fan base? Say, just because you're not a fan of golf doesn't mean that I'm, I am I'm a, a fan of golf. golf. Oh, well, I'm a fan I'm, of golf. I'm, but, I but, play. But, you but, play? But, yeah, I love you play? golf. Man. Yeah, okay, okay, all right, cool. I was about to say you're late. You're late if you ain't playing yet. But okay, okay. YouTube and everything. Right. Jack, the way up. I will probably beat you in that too. But if you can go on, yeah. Golf, tennis. Come on now. Come on now. But back to the second argument. For the sake of the argument, this is what I'm saying. Golf cannot be a, a an unentertaining or unpopular sport because it it generates more money than damn near all of them. So who's watching it? You see what I'm saying? We we just both admit so that we watch it. Right? So we it's just better. both admit that we watch it. So the sport, when I say the sport is better, you can't go with feelings. You see what I'm saying? Like like, like, okay. I feel like track is, is better. Darts better. Is darts better than like track and field? Golf has to be better. Tennis got to be better. Why? Bottom line, if we going with apples and oranges, they have a bigger fan base. They got a bigger fan base than every other sport. They have a bigger fan base. They have a bigger fan base because the product is polished. It's appealing. It's not the actual sport. Have you ever watched darts? 
Never come, day of my life. Class darts at ESPN? Never day of my life. You said every day of your life? Never, Never a day, day of my life. Okay. Didn't even know in real time. I want you to YouTube. I want you to YouTube a professional darts competition. I didn't even know this The shit is so live. It's so live. It's, 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 you can't help but to watch it. I'll sit and watch it. I'll sit and watch it. And it's darts. You, but if you see, if you, I, I'll tell you this, if you turn it, if you turn and watch it, if you go, you find it on YouTube anywhere, you're not going to be able to not watch it. It's live the way that they announce it, the way they show it, the way they shoot it, the way the, the vibe, you can feel the culture, all that stuff. Yo, that's what brings, that's what brings the fans in, yo, because if you see something that looks good and something looks appealing and the people that are doing it actually really look like they love it themselves and the people talking about it sound passionate about it and you can really feel the culture, you're going to watch it. We don't have any of that in track and field. And listen, I t- listen. I, I, I watch your show a lot. I watch. I told you, Track Girl Summer, um, Track World News, the other dude that, that was on the other day. Listen, there's people who really talk the sport. You can feel the sport, yo. We're not up in the. We're not getting the real outlets right now. The people that are that are giving the real outlets aren't really in touch with how the sport really is, what the culture really is, in, in the premier sports, in the speed and power sports. You know what I'm saying? That's not, that's not, that's not, the storytelling is coming from a place of people who don't really understand that aspect of the sport. No one's going to engage with that. It's not real. It's not authentic. There's no real passion in how, it, in how it's portrayed, dog. Our sport is obviously better than darts and darts is still killing us because they, that's, that's the biggest sign there is. So, okay. So, okay. So let me ask this then. What do you think Bracey could have done better to make us like darts then? Because that's 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 what we're comparing to. So what do you think he could have did better? So basically, just saying he should he should not have said what he no. Did. What I'm saying is I'm saying I'm saying for Marvin, he has all the tools to be the fastest man in the world. So you mm-hmm. have to think about how you're going to shave the rest of the time off, and he probably really needs to think about how he's per- perceiving his position in the sport or how he views the sport. If if track is just a fallback, or if track is just something he's doing that's good but not as good as what he was doing before, then how is he going to have the re- like? How is he gonna have the real drive to get where he needs to go? What's you can be as competitive as you want. You can be as competitive as you want. What's wrong with keeping it real? All you do is keep it real. Like, like he just, it's not about keeping it real. It's not, not about. It's right. not about. If I'm glad he was honest. I'm glad he was honest. If, no, if I'm I glad he was honest. I would have been like, hey, you can't say that. You know what I'm saying? Because there's people like Anson that won't get catch it the right way. You know what I'm saying? I get that. I get that. It doesn't matter. Everyone knows. Everyone's gonna take it the wrong way, dog. This guy does not like this. This guy is not track. Like this guy is not like it ain't track. Like he was a diamond league conference. It ain't like he's a diamond league conference. Like oh, track school. He came on race right tape. Same place you come on. Keep it real, man. You can't be mad at man. Right. But, but you keep it real. real. You keep it real here. I understand that. I can, it's, it's not about that. Listen, you can say whatever you want. Okay, you can say whatever you want. In my opinion, on a on a, on a, on a bigger stage, and when you get to that that top position, which he's supposed to be acting like he's at already, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be portraying that. Look, also, look, I know also, you on that. Okay, yeah. And also, it, it, it's a matter of him where his head is at. I'm trying to dissect where his head, his head is at. Because it's, it's, you know it's more than just having the talent, yo. He, he got it. He got the attitude. I know he got, he got his swagger. He, he got some charisma, you know what I'm saying? When he's in, in the four corners of the screen, when, when, when they're doing the, the lane draws before I you go, he, you, you can see he got, he got something. Being, first, I think you're being too hard. All right, I'm just gonna call I you. like no, I I'm Marvin. Like listen, Marvin, I, I like I Marvin as a sprinter. Right now, I think you taking one little thing he said. Now trust me, I'm no. with you. I see it all the time. In order, it, it, I tell my people I train all the time. In track and field, you're trying to become a fraction in history. Your time is a fraction in time. It's it's one of the most almost impossible things to do. So I get it. In order for you to be that, you have to be that here first. I'm I'm not gonna disagree with you on that. I'm not gonna disagree with you on that at all. But all I'm saying is, I feel like you've been a little too hard on him because it's like, okay. I'm not even being hard on him. He made I'm not even being hard on him. But look at everything else he's done on the track. That's what I be trying to tell people. Look, no, no, no. Ray, like, Ray, Tama, Tama, Tama. Tama, 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 Tama. I'm, this has nothing to do with anything else he's done. I led with all the positives of, of him right now. He has the potential to be one of the leading personalities in the sport. He has all the oh, tools on the track and off the track. So mm-hmm. I've already explained that. I've already explained that. I, I feel like he, upright, he's the best runner that's in the USA right now. Okay. But what I'm saying, there's other things that are going to factor in to him getting to the line before everybody else. And he needs to think about that. He needs to think if he's, if he, if he in his heart, and we don't have to stand for this much longer. If he in his heart feels like he's doing a sport 
that isn't as good as the sport he was doing before, or if he still kind of misses that, or if he still kind of identifies with that, or whatever it is, that can be that. That's hundreds. That's it thousands. Is. Okay, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, and it's something that he needs to he needs to consider. He needs to really think about. I'm not going to disagree with you. I'm not going to disagree with you, but I'm not going to sit here and make it seem like. That even weighs on his mind. I'm not gonna sit here and, and make it seem like Marvin Gracie is walking around and practice like, man, I, I miss football, man. It was no, a question that, that he but... was asked, and then he gave his honest his honest opinion. That's that's how I look at well, it. Like, that's his his like mo right now. His his mo right now. How uh, people would probably view him, and, and and on numerous interviews that he's done, not only yours, he's a football player yeah. that is doing track. Yeah. What's, okay, what's why up? why isn't he just a track athlete? Because he played football first. Dude, that's his bio. He can't be a track athlete if he played. Look here, look here. I'm Listen, put it to you like, no football player that runs track has ever been the fastest man in the world. It's a first time for everything, then, ain't it, Jack? He okay, well, from, dude, well he he's rolling the dice on that one. He's rolling the dice on that one. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is he needs to reconsider and really think about who he is in the sport. That's all I'm saying. Marvin's an amazing sprinter. But what I'm saying is I want him to get to the line faster. I've always, I've always, I've always felt like he was strong. You asking Deion Sanders to not say I'm a baseball and a football player because I play for the Dallas Cowboys and I play for, I forgot, the Braves. You no, asking Bo what I'm Jackson saying is, to not what I'm say, saying is, you asking Bo Jackson to not say I play football and I play basketball. You asking Michael Jordan when's, to when's not Marvin's, say when's Marvin's, to go. When's Marvin's, you when's Marvin's, when's Marvin's next? To not say I play basketball and mm-hmm. and I play when's basketball. When's Marvin's next game? So when's Marvin's next game? Oh, it's another one. And I run track. Uh, when's now, when's like Marvin's? Utility. When's Marvin's next game? What Sunday is Marvin going to be playing next? Because he said Bo Jackson and he said Deion Sanders. So I'm confused because to my knowledge, he don't run. He don't play football no more. He runs track. Deion Sanders, Bo Jackson did both at the same time. Take another drink because I'm confused by what you just said a second ago because he's not comparable to either of them at all. He runs track. So run track. Own track. Push track. Act like you, you know have know the them spot. You gonna show y'all tomorrow? Man. Yeah, this is move on to that team. because look at he. he and then I'm you right it's gonna be a scramble. Like, it's gonna be a scramble. That football player, that football player, do the whole lot of track. People, you know what? What's the times? Tomorrow's. Listen, okay? man. What you gonna listen, do tomorrow? Listen, so what's gonna happen tomorrow? Listen, when they line up and he lined up against pure track people. And the, the, the people you talking about? The people you talking about? Pure right. track people. And right. A football turn track person. What you gonna say then? What you gonna say then? Okay, listen. What's gonna be then? What's gonna be then? I want to know what did what did did Christian did Christian do something to you? What you talking about? No, I love Christian. What did he do to you? No, no, what did he do to you? Come on, this race tape. This race tape. We got red cups. You know what I'm saying? What did he do to you? What did he do to you? I want to know. I want to know why you're being so disrespectful. Christian I, I need to know. With my sister out here in Dallas. He's a chef. Like, Christian's brother's a chef, and his, his brother works literally with my sister. My sister's a GM out here. So I'm not... Did I, you I steal like a them. recipe? Like, did you steal a recipe or something? What was nah, going on? Hey, he turned me on the chain. I had to tell you, like, so you got something against him. <laughs> you have something against him. Did he steal a recipe from you? He stole a recipe from you. He stole a recipe from you. Well, here's, here's, the problem. here's the problem I have with you. I'm gonna get, we're going to get into the Chris and Coleman stuff. Here's the problem I have with you, okay? And again, I don't know. You know, because I'm, I'm, I'm getting old. But I, I, I felt like, you know, when I was running, I felt like I, I, I felt like I remembered, I remembered you. I feel like, I feel like I raced you. But in order for that to be true, I would have to be racing a sprinter, okay? But it sounded like it sounded like I, I, my amnesia kicking in, and, and Anson Henry is a mere distance person or something, because it sounded <laughs> like he is making decisions. I thought he was an Olympian. That, that's even worse. I was like, I thought he was an Olympic sprinter at one point in time. And I don't know what was going. Like, I guess the clone laughs is real because he must be a clone because the way they do talking, like, it's just not gonna happen, bro. It's what we keep saying, okay? And even based off Christian Coleman's three hundred, all right. 
And here's the thing I feel like I'm going to say, I feel like you are being very disrespectful to CC. I've been waiting for you to go on show and say this. And I feel like if I text him, he would say, Ray, you're correct. He's been very disrespectful to me. And I'm going to tell you why. You've been there very, 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 I'm being very, disrespectful very, to him? You are being very disrespectful to Christian Coleman. <sighs> okay, tell, tell me how you're disrespectful to Christian. In reality, I'm the only person who's been respecting Christian Coleman. Ain't none of y'all been respecting him. i tell you why. Christian Coleman don't give a damn about no Mira Rose games. He don't care. He don't care about no Mira Rose games. That's why he ran a 300. Christian Coleman don't care about no Endo. I got the record, baby. I got it. I, I got the crown on. What, 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 what I need to do? What, what, what can I Endo for? So all y'all sitting here, put him in the pot. to my Endo this, Endo that. Christian sent back like, man, damn my Endo. I got the title, Jack. My mind is on outdoor. My mind is on, I need to go get that 9 4 because Ray already said I can get it because I told y'all he was the one that can get it. I said, if anybody's going to get it, it's three people. I said, it's going to be Christian Coleman, it's going to be it's gonna be Fred Curley or Trayvon Romero. Them the only three that can break that record, okay? Christian Coleman thinking like that. Y'all being disrespectful. You're being disrespectful thinking that this man is stupid enough to be training to run a damn 6364 in January. That's a spread of the disrespectful. You know good and well your whole yeah. time of being a living I mean, athlete. You got medals and everything. My turn. You ain't never it's trained to run that damn fast in no in no January when you was on top of your game. Not if you when you was on top of your game trying to be ready for outdoor. Now I can see if you're trying to be ready for the end of the world championship, okay? I.e. Martin Bracey. Bracey has his his eyes set on indoor worlds. Christian ain't got his eyes set on no damn indoor worlds, so he ain't training for it. That's why why wouldn't Christian? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Why wouldn't Christian? Why wouldn't Christian? <laughs> listen. What? Why wouldn't Christian have his mind on indoor worlds? Bro, I got the world record. He's the, de come, he's the defending, come defending come champion. On, come he's on, he's the defending world. champion. The he's the defending like, champion. <laughs> What? Why did it do what? Listen, I can defend it post this link right now. But outside of that, I ain't got to defend that no Mill Rose. If Mill Rose game, Jack, there ain't nobody caring them. I mean, anything like that. But if I'm Christian Coleman, if I'm Mister Six Three, I'm Mister. My debut is back. I'm not gonna have my debut back at no damn Mill Rose games. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do my interview and say, look, I'm getting ready for outdoor. Y'all don't see me indoors. Y'all, y'all know what I can do in here. Y'all see that piece of paper? Who named at the top of it? On oh, all these heat sheets, who name you see? So you, you see my name, I wore it every time they line up. I ain't got the race no more because no matter how many times you line up, I'm first. Why? Because it says world record holder, Christian Coleman, and then all y'all name. I can't lose, baby. Why so okay, so 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 you, what you're saying is world record holder. World champion, indoors yeah. and outdoors. Yeah. Um, and reigning world indoor champion, mind you. Yeah. And reigning world I'll outdoor champion, mind you. I love it. You're saying that he's okay just wandering into a meet and it's getting destroyed. It's not what I said at all. You're saying, okay, wait, 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 about the meet tomorrow because he's doing 300s, which everyone's doing at this time of year. You're saying, you're saying that he doesn't care about the meet because he's doing 300s and he's thinking about outdoors. So it's okay That's for him to be seen on the four corners of a screen getting destroyed because I'm going to be ready for outdoors. That's not what I said. That's not what I said at all. Okay, tell me, no. tell me the little part that I missed out of what you said, because that's what I got from what you said. What I said, I got from what I got from you said is that he's okay with losing this weekend because it's whatever. He's gonna be ready for outdoors. The general synopsis is what you said. Yeah. I find that to be you, you. You ain't gonna get on the track. Oh, sorry. Look here, look here, look here. Your computer froze for a second. Go ahead. You can look here. This is how I say it again. Yes, I truly feel like he is okay with not winning this weekend. I actually feel like there's a couple athletes in this race we can talk about that I personally feel like I haven't asked them, haven't talked to them, nothing like that. I feel like don't care about this race this weekend. Well, I'm gonna say it like this, though. So I may have talked to one or two that they just like, man, about that. But anyway, that's just what I'm saying. I don't think that he killed. Now, okay, I'm not saying he's gonna go in there and just lay down. I did not say that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying Christian Coleman can't win. That's not what I'm saying either. I'm not here sitting here saying that Christian Coleman get that land. I'm not saying none of that. What I'm saying is, I personally 
do not think he's going to win whatsoever. I personally think Marvin Brace is going to win. I personally okay. think Christian Coleman is going to get third. That's just what I feel. That's just what I okay. feel. And I personally feel like Christian Coleman isn't going to care that he got third because it's, it's Miro's games. So I love Miro's. I love y'all. But still, <laughs> it's the first God. track, man. It's the first end, though. He's, Not to see it with USA. If it was USA, I'd be like, yes, he might be right. But the first track meet off for two years, bro, you might be overweight. That, Christian, <laughs> Christian, Christian doesn't lose. He very rarely loses. Okay, I'm going to pull your car right he'll now. Never, he he'll weekend. never. He lost last weekend, didn't he? Did he lose last weekend? In the 300? All I, all right, man, look, all I can okay, do is let me, you let me, said, you okay, said I don't want to spoon feed you. Let me say it again. Let me say it again. <laughs> in his events, in his events, Christian doesn't lose. He very rarely loses. Someone like that isn't going to be just all right. We're just, mm, it's all right. Let me get my ass whooped on TV, on national TV as the defending world indoor and outdoor champion. It's okay. All I know is Mike Tyson beat somebody I, I, I have, I'm, Mike Tyson beat somebody I'm having somebody trouble kill. believing. That's I'm all having I'm trouble saying. believing. Mike Tyson okay. beat somebody well, I'm, having trouble, I'm having trouble believing that he is going to put himself out there like this if he's not ready. He has to be in some sort of shape. Has to be. What? Someone okay. like this, okay. someone like him. Then. Define to me ready. Maybe, maybe that'll help me out. Define to me ready. Okay. Let me, let, me, let me see what ready is. If it was if it was a hundred, I'd be more questionable. But it's a sixty. So bread and butter for him, we already know it is the beginning part of the race. So That's the last not, thing to go. So, so it's if not he, Freddie if he, Roman's bread and butter, it's not his bread and butter either. It's not Ronnie right Baker's but, bread and butter either. Uh, Ronnie Baker. Well, this bread and butter, this bread and butter has more taste. This bread and this bread and butter has more taste. This okay, this this, this, this is a hot. This it's handmade. It's a handmade loaf. It's a handmade loaf that just came oh. fresh out of the oven. The butter's melted. This is a different bread and butter. It's different. We know it's different. He ran 6-3 a few times. You, you know how ridiculous that is. And, and you know what? I remember you saying something about Marvin having fuel, fuel because he's angry. Who's more angry than Christian right now? Who? Who's more, motivate, more motivated than that guy right now? Who? He had his track life taken away from him, dog. He's been waiting to get back on the track. Now, let me get back to what I was saying. The beginning part of the race, the beginning part of the race is his bread and butter. That's the last thing to go. All he's probably been doing since he hasn't been competing is working on his power. He was already very powerful. So he'll be more powerful now. And in the 60, in the 60, he ain't gonna have to worry about the maintenance part of the latter part of the race where you would want to have more runs and more reps with other people. Him getting out of blocks is nothing. It's very natural for him, yo. So for him to come in at 60, he's going to obviously have an advantage off the jump because of what he's already run and because of what he knows that he can do very naturally, even without much training. And I know he's been training. He had to have been training because he's a different pedigree. Someone like that with all those things I just said, world indoor outdoor champion and the world record holder in the 60 meters is not just going to be sitting around. They don't just come out on the track when they're not ready. For him to come out and not be ready, I'd be extremely surprised because someone like that would not do that. He's not what those guys are. None of those guys are winners like him. He's different, dog. You're, that's, why, that's why I'm saying you're disrespectful. He's different. and Because you, you, you talk like he's regular, dog. He's not regular. He's different. That's all I'm saying. So for him, them guys have to prove something to him. They have to prove something to him because everybody's saying, well, shoot, if Christian was at the games, ain't no way that Italian would have won. Everyone's saying, well, yeah, you know, there's a slump in the, in, 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 the, in the sprints right now because Christian wasn't there. We didn't have the world champion there. Everyone's saying that everyone. And if he just comes back after just chilling for two years and beats all these guys, he they're the ones that are going to look bad, quote unquote, because it's early. It doesn't really matter. But at, at the end of the day, someone like that, that, that saying what you're saying. They just been sitting around doing nothing and ain't gonna do nothing. If he does come and do something, then nobody they're not gonna feel good about it. Then nobody said, see, 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 this is a problem I have with y'all Canadians, okay? I love y'all, by the way. I need to find that word. <laughs> I need to find that word. Whatever they were calling Shakari when she was clowning Jamaicans, I need to find that word for you. But well, go on. This is why I love y'all. It was one of those icks. It was one of the right, icks. I can't remember which one. Okay. What's going on, brother? I'm on thing. So this is what this is what I'm seeing here saying. All right, this is what I'm seeing here saying. 
you making it seem like first of all, I, I gotta get this off my chest. I gotta get this off my chest. I feel disrespected. All right. You know why I feel disrespected? I feel disrespected because you treat me like I never ran track. You treat me like I ain't put a spike on. Or, or pass spikes. Not not one spike, pass spikes. You well, treat me like I, I ain't never you like that. You treat me like I ain't been to a world championship. You treat me when like I ain't been to a world championship. You like that. You treat me like I ain't been on, I, like I ain't have a, I, like I went in a world record race. This is how you treat me. I'm gonna tell you how you treat me this way. You treat me this way because you come You know so we've done a lot of things exactly you, the same. You couldn't be so sideways. You we'll, couldn't be talking we'll crazy. That, like, like, I don't know about track and field, which is why I'm saying trying to tell you. I'm speaking from not only an analyst standpoint, but from an athletic standpoint. And I feel like you only speak from an analyst standpoint. From an athletic standpoint, be Ray, honest with yourself. Ray, be be Ray, honest with yourself. Be. And that be honest that with Pan Am Games of 2007, Pan Am Games 2007, yeah. I was there I'm, too. I know. The world I was championships there that you're talking about. I don't know. So be real with the people then. That 10th place finish? You, that 10th place so finish you had at Worlds? What you trying to tell me that is that 10th place every, finish every you had at Worlds? You, every track meet you went to, you was ready. You didn't go to one track meet thing and, hey, man, I'm just going to skate through this one, you know, because I'm, I'm in my training mode. You know what I'm saying? You didn't go to not a single track meet in your whole Olympic career thinking, hey, man, I'm just here because they're going to pay me this. I'm just here because. I never, I never, I never been a defending world champion. Neither of us have been a defending world champion. And this, 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 the scale of things is much different when, when it comes to stuff like that. You don't just put yourself out there when you have so much riding on it. You have to be ready. You have to be ready. You have to be able to show something. I would be very confused if Christian went out and got whooped. And it would, it would say a lot about his character if he went out and got whooped because I'd be like, yo, this guy really doesn't care. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he's disregarding the natural path of things for people who are Watch in that right spot. Here. Because if you're in that Watch spot, right if you're here. in that spot, Watch if you're right in here. that spot, you only okay. go out if you're ready, dog. Okay. It's the, uh, okay. He's okay. different. Okay. Okay. He's diff okay. He's not those other guys. Okay. He's okay. different. Okay. okay, okay. So I'm going to pull this card in. Based off everything you're saying, what happened to Trayvon? So basically you're saying when? Trayvon ain't a beast. You saying Trayvon ain't, ain't Trayvon ain't I never said Trayvon ain't a beast. Trayvon. You got Listen, to Trayvon, said, Trayvon, Trayvon, Trayvon went to the Olympic Games and didn't even get a medal. Based off of what? Oh, we, but we already spoke about that. Trayvon didn't run as well as he was supposed to at the Olympics. Okay. Trayvon, so, Trayvon, Trayvon, Trayvon would say that he underperformed at the Olympics. That's, 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 that's not, okay, that's so not new news. Therefore, based off your logic, based off that whole soliloquy you just gave, as a, as mm -hmm. a top performer, you have to open up and perform. I said, no I said defending world so champion. If that top performer said, failed at one point in time at the Olympic Games, if that top performer failed at the top of the top, what makes you think that a Christian Coleman top performer can't fall at a Melrose Games? As good and as Trayvon is, perform. as good as Trayvon is, he's not he's not a world champion. Well, he's he's world champion in 2016 in, in world indoors, but he's not a world outdoor champion. He's not a, he's not a hundred meter champion, and he's not a world record holder. And he's not the defending in either of them either. So with that, it changes, it changes. And Trayvon usually when he goes on the track does perform well. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have a good Olympics, but referencing back to what we were talking about the first time we spoke in November. That championship is that the Trayvon gets. If he gets a championship, and hopefully he'll get the championships, it'll kind of, you know what I'm saying, it'll change something for him. It's going to change the whole scope of how he approaches the sport. It's going to change everything. You know, it's, it's as high of a level he's at right now, that's another level, especially if you're perennially winning. All he needs is that one championship. I said this for you. All he needs is that one championship for him to really put on, put a streak of wins together. But Christian, Christian, it's not going to be easy to beat that. He's not. He's only he's 26 now. Hold on. And, Hold, and, on and, Hold on one second. I'm about, I'm about to bring. I'm about to bring my boy in. Hold on. Yo, yo, oh. we here. What's good, yo? Anson Ray, how y'all doing? What are you we saying, doing, yo? I'm doing wonderful. Anson's doing horrible. Ray, Ray was Ray was having some issues getting some Anson's good points across. Right so he was now. like, "Let me bring someone in, yo. Let me bring someone to kind of." <laughs> Get right, us away so, from seeing what's really going on here. So I was watching. I've been watching this whole time. I've been listening this whole time. And I know it's y'all debate, so I don't want to stay here too long. I got a couple points I wanted to make. And I want Go to ahead and drop. All right. So for Anson, on Anson's side, this is what I see. So I think you're right. 
I don't think that he w- Christian Coleman would do something that he's not ready for. I think of it uh, in two different ways. One, kind of like what DK Metcalf did. I knew he wasn't going to run that 100-meter race if he wasn't ready to run the 100-meter race. Like, he knew he was – yeah, he, he got dead last, you're right, but he didn't run – he ran a time both all of us thought was going to be better than what he did, right? All right, cool. Mm-hmm. Then I also take this to a quote that I heard from Nick Saban about Alabama. He <sighs> said that every team that you guys compete against is bringing their A game because they know you are on Alabama. So every single team is bringing their A game. This is going to be their best competition they ever do. But this is just a regular game for you. Like you playing, you know, you know, no name state, regular game for you means nothing. But this is the game of their life. This is the game. If they win, they're telling their kids about this game. They're telling their grandkids about this game. This is everything. And so I think it's a similar type of deal with Christian Coleman. You have to know that you've got to bring your A game because all it's like for these other people, well, like if if he wins this race, it doesn't mean nothing. But if Josephus Lyles win this race, if, you know, if who, who, the guy that took over Rattery, the, that guy they just who they just put in now, if he wins this race beats or just beats Christian Coleman, it means a lot to them. So they're bringing their A game. Christian Coleman's got to do the same type of thing because, you know, I feel he if he wanted to open up with a 60, he could have done this next week on, you know, no name state. He could have ran at Texas Tech last week because they know they, they'd be let, allowing false, false starts. He could have done that. So I think he knows that, hey, this is going to be a big race. It's important. He doesn't have to ra- race against Trayvon Bermel, Ronnie Baker, Marvin Brace. He doesn't have to do that in his opening race. He knows it's going to a lot of people are going to be watching, even though it's only an opening race. You know what I mean? Okay, so who are you picking then? So- yeah, yeah, so I picked I picked my first. My first through third, number one, I think that Trayvon Burrell is going to win. I think that he's coming off of a world-leading time. I know it's early in the season. Uh, you guys obviously know how much that would pick, you know, impact your legs much more than I do. You know, just a college athlete. You can, I could run every single week. I'd be fine. But um, so I, I picked him winning. I picked Marvin Bracey close second. And then I got Coleman third. I say oh, number one. I think I said. Look, look, hey, let the people look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. First of all, first so you, of all, you people, got Trayvon and you got Christian rest, second. I got no. the rest of people that look. I ain't had nothing to do with this, you know. That's what. That, that, look at you. Look at the top three track and field analysts in the world right now, Craig. First of all, let's just call this for that. Call this for that. Now, second of all, I didn't bring you up on here to say none of that. I didn't know what you was gonna say, but I realized the the man smart. The man can, and, and I'm not just lying to say this. You can look at my last <laughs> clip. My last <laughs> clip, I said the same thing. I'm not changing for nobody. That's what I picked. I said 6-4-3 for Trayvon Bermel, 6-4-6 for Marvin Bracey, and then a 6-5 cold for uh, for Christian Coleman. It's his first race in two years. I, can, I look, respect man. that. I, I got a twist. I got Bracey for Mel and Coleman, but then I also – but, but. – <laughs> It's a battle at the lean for me at break. Hey. For me, it's a it's a it's a lean at with those two. It's gonna be close. It's gonna I'm be going close. With That's the top lean. three though. But I'm going with I'm going with Bracey for the win and the other two for the lean. I'm going Bracey for the win, the other two for the lean. All right. So my top What's three. You already you know. Win? You already know. I said Christian first. Okay. Mm-hmm. Second is gonna be a scramble. It's gonna be a scramble. But I got Trayvon coming in second, and I got Marvin coming in third. Now, it, it's it's a sixty man. Like Marvin has a good start, but he's he's going to be the guy to look out for outside. He's going to be the guy to look out for okay. outside. Okay, so let me ask both y'all this have because y'all because the Bro- and Ronnie Ronnie, the Ronnie 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 is going to be it's tough. It's tough picturing Ronnie coming in fourth in that race though. It's really hard seeing Ronnie coming fourth in that race. I'm only what? putting Ronnie at fourth for the same reason I'm putting Kobe at Who's going to beat? Who's going to beat? I'm putting all of them at fourth for the same reason. Like they, it's, it's been real games. Hey so man, I, I hear, I hear, th- I hear th- through the grapevine about how how training goes here and there in different places. You know what I'm saying? I got an idea of how things are looking. Who's looking like what? Let you know me call saying? out the I, I'm just saying, thing. based off of what I've come across in my information and my research, 
aside from we don't really know what's going on with Christian, I'll say that. But from what I've heard and from the situation, I don't see how he would ever come in if he wasn't ready. Okay, no, so no, one's no one's running six four. No one's running six four. No one's running six four. It's gonna be six five low. No it's gonna be six people. five low. Hold on for the mm-hmm. people. Let's call it out. In lane two, you got Joe Tavia's lines. Lyles, Lyles brother. Lane three, you got Marvin Bracey with six forty eight. Lane four, you got Ronnie Baker with six forty PR. Lane five, you got Trayvon Bromell six forty seven PR. Lane six, you got Christian Coleman six thirty four PR. Lane seven, you got Noah Lyle, six five. We'll just keep it in the middle, okay? Based off those lane assignments, you got Bracey in three, Baker in four, Trayvon in five, Coleman in six. Based off those lane assignments, I gotta go, Marvin. It's a bad draw, for Marvin. No, that's, that's a bad draw. That's a bad draw. It's a bad draw. Coleman of fourth. Coleman might end up huh? in fourth. Based on the lane assignment. <laughs> Yo, Ray. Based Ray, Ray, Ray. Based on the lane assignment. Yo, Ray. Tell me, tell me, tell me. You know you can. Yo, Ray, I can't go. I just want to let you. I want, I want to let you know. I want to let you know. I want to let you know about the editing feature that YouTube has afterwards. After the stream's done, after the stream's done, you can take that out. You can take that out. Can I have 25 seconds to say why I said maybe even fourth? Can I have you give me 25 seconds? You might need 30 Molly, seconds. we ain't got a real body. Molly, start the clock, all right? So check. This is what I'm saying you're coming for. We can't neglect that Ronnie Baker is in lane four, right next to... So Ronnie is in the middle of Marvin and Trayvon. Theoretically, based on the fact that Christian Coleman been sitting down for two years, that's your race right there. That's your race. Why do you keep your saying he's sitting? Why do you keep saying he's been five? sitting? So, now Why do you keep saying now? he's been sitting? What I mean sitting is you have not raced. You have not been in the mix of in a race. You've been you yeah, Look, come man. on, bro. Come on. You know it's different. That's why it's okay. So 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 so, so hear me out. So hear me out. So hear me out. Hear me out. At the beginning of the season, everyone's starting from zero, man. No, hang on. It, it, Everyone is starting from zero in the preseason. Everybody, everybody. No, Ray, every season you have to build your base. Everyone's starting from zero. Everybody. So to say that, well, he's starting from a lower zero than everyone else. No, everyone was chilling for a couple of months or six weeks or whatever. And then they're coming back now to try and get their legs under them. You know, no, I think no, I feel like Anderson, no, you can't say that. That's dumb as hell. She said my name. She said my name. So you know, it's getting serious. You need the off season to get the kinks out. You, we gotta have okay. the off season. We gotta play together. This, we gotta get the feel for it. You can't get the feel for it. This ain't the off season. This ain't the off season. To have a better feel. It's the feel. It's the feel. It's a sixty. Oh, baby, it's a it's sixty. It's a sixty. The and start is the last thing to go. No, the start is the last thing to. Ray, the start is the last thing to go. And you know his power got up with all that anger from having his whole track life taken away from him. You know he's pushing them weights. So his power is going to be better. As far as how he, you know, applies it, we'll see. But all I'm saying is I know he's going to be more powerful than he was before. And it's a 60. It's his bread and butter. And he knows he's going to get to okay, 30 first. His bread and butter. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, so now this point that you just made, we kind of glossed over. I don't know how we did this. You said no one's breaking six five in this race. Did I hear that right? No, no, no. no, no. I was gonna get to that next. Trust me, I was gonna do that next. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, 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 no one's gonna break six five. Six five. You're gonna tell me that and the winner, the w- and, and for sure, are gonna be the world leaders after this race. Yeah. That's crazy. Because because <laughs> because crazy. because because those college, college kids, kids those college kids, lead. those college kids, that Oregon cat. You know what I'm saying. Where did he run that? I can't even remember where well, he ran I that. I want to make sure I heard you correctly. You ran into Washington. Okay. I want to make sure I now, heard you correctly, Anson. So you're saying nobody's going to break 6-5? If anything, one might. But it's well, not going to no, be multiple. No, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think... None? What is it? We need, I, I don't think... It. Nah, I don't, see, I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. Well, hold on. The people... Because the people... Been in, I'm going to catch it now. I'm going to catch it. I'm going to catch it. I'm going to catch it right now. Because early in the show, before Track World News came on, you literally said... It will be a lean. So how is it going to be a lean if only one no, person can That's impossible. I said it was going to be a scrap. I never said that. I never said that. You said it's going to be I like, I want oh, you, listen, listen, Ray, 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 Ray. If you can clip 
me saying I'm that. Gonna I'm gonna I'll give it. you 20 pounds. I'll give you 20 pounds. And if you can't pounds. find it, I'll want my 20. I got to say the conversion rate first, because I don't know I'll how y'all working right now. <laughs> What's conversion rate? Well, you're so confident about finding a cook me talking about it's going to be a lean. I said it's going to be a scramble for second. I know I said it's going to be a scramble for second. I think so I, I it's going to be a lean gonna for win. Six four, and nobody else going 6-4. It's going to be 6-5 low, yo. It's going to be 6-5 low. 6-5 low. 6-5 low, yo. All them guys coming off of the Olympic high. And then Christian, you know what I'm saying? Getting his feet wet. And then, and then this is another thing with Christian being in the race. When you have someone like that, they can win with times that are slower. And let me explain. I remember it was one year where, I think it was 2000 Olympics, when HSI was like doing their thing, yo. Um, Adol Bolden, Maurice Green, and oh, what's the name of the other guy that was running? He, he didn't have that long of a career. Anyways, when, when, when they went through the first round, they were like, let's make a bet of who can win their heat, but with the slowest time. Because it's all about how you impose who you are on the field. Some people run worse against you because of who you are. Now, I think that these guys are going to be more antsy running against Christian than he is running against them. I feel like he has that because he's beaten all of them repeatedly. They're used to losing to him all the time. So he's going to come in with that. I know you do. I know you do. But what I'm saying is Christian, if Christian, if Christian, I'll say this, if Christian wasn't in the race, it'd be more likely that the race would go six, four. I'll say that, but he'll win. He, him, someone like him will win with six, five low. Like mind you, if he runs six, four, if he, he just makes me look more right. But so no, like, it, no, it's not going to go. It's not going to go under six five. Of, all of these guys have ran. Let me just check. I just checked with Trayvon Bermel. He ran sub six five in January, literally last year. So he, mm-hmm. he's he's done that. Let me take a look. Let me just take a look at uh at Marvin Bracy. Marvin Bracy. Uh, How many races did he run up to that point? How many races did he run up to that point? He ran one. He ran one. He ran one before. Yeah. What did he run the first one? Six five eight. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that you didn't want to leave that out. Yeah, so the first race yeah, he ran. ran yeah, I just I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure. I wanted to make sure that you really did your research. So he ran six five eight. No, okay, got, cool. Go on. I got it up. I'm okay. At it. Yeah, you just didn't say it though. You didn't say it though. But you got yeah. out. First race he ran six five eight. Okay, continue. January twenty fourth. So same time frame. So same time. Yeah, but you gotta run a race. You gotta run a race. It's everyone's first race. In the sixty. What? Six five. Uh, I'm telling y'all. Six five. Like, then, then, yeah, so you didn't like the fact that I knew about that six fifty eight. I really do this, yo. You didn't, you didn't like the fact that I knew about the six fifty eight. <laughs> you didn't like that. I really do this, dog. I really do this. I like, so look, damn, I I understand. I understand that it's first race, yo. It's just look, look six five low for Christian. Here's why I got this group. In order for it to be six five low, I would have to say, and I'm, I'm my stats guys, my stats guy, my stats guy, they keep me on top. I would have to say that Miro's game has got the same surface they had ten years ago, when the surfaces have been redone. So let's just call it what it is. These college kids ain't really running six four. It's the Boeing uh, and the damn track. Okay. Thank so you. Boys, it's thank the you. Boeing and the track. You being extra disrespectful by you saying these boys can only run six fives on fast tracks. Come you on, just man. said it. Wait, 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 wait. At I mean, Armory, at the, the Armory. The they didn't break the world record again on these new tracks. And everybody else. Well, he did. He ball. did. He did run a world record in his first race one season, didn't he? But based off the surfaces is what I'm saying. You saying different. only one person can go. Six I think four. he did it on some asphalt. If only one person can go six four. I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna say now. Before the season started, I said the same thing you saying. I said six four six five, but I was basing it off of when I ran, when tracks was normal, when shoes was just had spikes in them, they had special hydraulics in them. Now I'm saying there's no way any track meet can go a six four six five five if it's a professional track meet. If you got a collegiate going six four, then guess what? I I, I refuse to believe that if this collegiate athlete was in the same race. He would drop a six four on these boys who got Olympic medals, who don't win six four in the world championships and beat them. That's that's that's, that's the not a thing. That, so you were saying the Texas Tech kid can line up tomorrow at Miro's and win? Because that's what you basically with saying. Fly- if only one no six four with the flyer. No, 
Just period. Just line it up. Okay. Period. But well, he didn't. Run, he didn't run that you without the flyer. You saying Michael from Oregon can line up tomorrow Bruh. and only one person might beat him? And you saying it's a slight fight? You saying no, Michael? No, but that, be that goes back to the point. That we've been doing right now. Okay, Ray. You see, are you talking about people who have ran track before and how we've run track before? Now you know when there's a certain figure in the race, your race can change. Mike is not coming into that race composed. Not coming into that race and just running at his best. He's intimidated. He's got he's got real dogs in the race. What you mean? He, 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 he intimidated. In, in the in the relay, in the relay, in the relay. But those guys are better than him. Those guys are better than him. He knows that they're better than him. He's not coming in that with that in that in that race with that swagger, dog. He's not coming in with that bounce. He get, he'll get deflated. Even look at you might be the most even this people even people. Runner. I'm about to start calling you a cowboy. No, I'm sorry. That's my Cowboys oh, fan. Who? You about to be a half a mile after the date. Who's now, me? Who's being disrespectful? Mile. Take your sprint call it. Cause I just like I took his. Are you about you about to be a half mile? Listen, <laughs> listen. All I'm saying is he ain't running six four against people like that. He can run it by himself. Cool. And you know people can just run it by themselves if they're you can keep your composure, yeah. He's not gonna do that against them. But and why? plus the armory ain't no <laughs> He ran a personal bet here. at the Olympic trials here. at the exactly. top of the top. He was racing he, in he the most that. important race of all time. He did that. He okay, he did that. He did that, but he came last or second last. He made the Olympic team. Didn't he come in sixth? I understand that, but all those people that we're talking about beat him. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. They beat him. He, he, okay, he got a PR. So cool. Like he you. got a PR. Thank he got a PR so in the Olympic so trials final. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Olympic trials final. Olympic trials final. Olympic trials final. And in Oregon. Okay. No, Ray, we come on, man. In Oregon. I love that track. And I, I listen. We know. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Okay. So yeah. Now. Milrose isn't a traditionally fast track, right? They still got the shoes, cool. But I feel like those type of shoes work better with certain type of surfaces. And I just don't see it happening at the Armory. I don't see a 6-4 this year off the Olympic high happening like that. I just don't see it. I think, and just like you're saying, Christian's focusing on outdoors. I think a lot of people are focusing on outdoors, yeah? But the bottom line is, once you line up, the ego kicks in. Everyone wants to win, yo. And who's going to be the best on that day? And Here's I'm leaning more towards the guy that's run six three numerous times. I'm going forty. I'm going forty three for the winner. There you go. What are you? I'm going forty five <laughs> for second, <laughs> forty seven for third, and then you're going to hit like a forty nine fifty. It has Ray, to you're be. Tripping, and man. Just look at it. Has you're tripping, to come, man. Bro. Just think about just think about history. You got a you okay, got okay, a world okay, indoor final. Listen, you got a okay. world indoor final okay, well, stats this. right there. Watch this. Riddle me this then, because you the one who was there talking about you the one that was there talking about Marvin Bracey can't be talking about track and field. So what you sit here telling me is what? the best of the best. You know, oh, the best of the best is about clarity. to line up. The best starters ever, world record holders, Trayvon, world record. You mean to tell me that the best starters about to line up at the, the first opening track meet on national TV and that race is going to be slower than what you will watch at a, at a college track meet that ain't even on TV. That's what you're trying to get the people to believe. You want the people to believe yeah. that on tell TV Ray. tomorrow, tell these Ray, are going to run slower than college times. Come on, man. Yeah. You know it ain't happening. Even if NBC no, goes I've, I've, no, I've actually seen that. I've actually seen that happen. I've actually seen that happen numerous times where college kids run faster where? early in the season than the pros. Where? Where? And I'd Rose? say I'd say probably I'd say no 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 no. I'm saying in general, you'll have some college kids that come out faster than the pros come out yeah, because they're getting ready. Kids. They're getting We're ready not right a away. Complete college race. You're saying the Texas Tech a race. In general, will be faster than the mirror. He false game. started. He false started. No, 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 no. We no, all no, no. know he false started. I'm talking about the winner. I'm talking about the entire race. Look at the results based off your numbers. 
based off what you're saying, the results for Milrose games will be slower than the results that was in Michael's race and there was at the Texas Tech kid race. And I'm not going to sit here and let you hold your sprint card and say that. Because that's the most disrespectful yeah. thing I've ever heard come out your mouth. You literally sit here saying the college boy is going to have a faster top four than the professional sprinters at an indoor track meet. That's what you're saying. Six, five, the college top four will be faster than the indoor I feel like you're. I feel like you're dwelling on my six five talks to deviate from what the real discussion is here about Christian winning. But yes, six five. If we want to dwell in it, yes, it'll be six five low. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. like, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm wondering. Go ahead. So this is my question. Why is this we got to we got to wager something, yo? This is kind of. I told you go on, Keep going. This is going a little, little bit away from the uh, the conversation. Just a little bit. Not not too much. Just a little bit. But like, so we're, you're not, we're, we're okay with showing how on, on the women's side, the two, per, two professional athletes are the top two times. We, we talked about it, it was, uh, what, Aaliyah Hobbs and um, who was the, you had the, the lady, she was on your, uh, your, your show the oh, other day. Uh, what was it, right? uh, uh, Mary um, Beth. Mary yes, Beth. Yes, Mary Beth. Two pros running top times. <laughs> We, we, we have no conversation. We'll talk about her later, too. I got some stuff to say. Go on. We, have, we got no no conversations on, like, oh, yeah, there's this going to be some college kids break, breaking that. Like, because that's disrespectful. But here, oh, it, it's fine. Like, there's going to be two people that are going to be better than them. And shoot, maybe even three with DeAndre Swint with his 6'5", three. That's 6'5", low. So mm-hmm. we're okay with saying that there's going to be a guy from Texas Tech, Oregon, and potentially even Florida State University that is going to be running faster then Trayvon Bromel, then Marvin Bracy, and then and uh what Ronnie Baker. No, don't even sound right, but you saying it now. It don't even sound right. It don't even sound right. Listen to me, man. Listen to me. It wouldn't be the first time. I don't know what answer got in here, Red Cup, but the next episode, don't put whatever you got in your cup. The next time we have a Red Cup episode, it wouldn't be the first time. It wouldn't be the first time. And at those track meets, you know. You know the timing isn't always up to par. You know this. Colin, you ever used to run? Yeah, I ran. A, I've, I've been to Milrose. I've been to Armory. I've been to Milrose. Oh, yeah. Okay, so listen. I ran, yeah. Oh, you pull balls. Okay, now listen. Ray. <laughs> you know, you know, when you sprint in college, a lot a lot of times, the, the times ain't really going to be like, bang on, bang on. No, for the sake of your argument, I know you're saying other ways right otherwise right now. I'm asking you to be mature about this and be honest. You know, you know that the timing is not up to par. It's not up to par. Question are there pressure you know sensors this. at every you know this. Meet? question like legit question? Because I don't know. Are there pressure sensors? No, the but there will be at Melrose. No, I got I got no I got one or two flakes. No, flake no but there will be at Melrose. Come on, this is what happens. It's just what happens. It's just what happens. And like you said, Colin, okay. yeah, there will be pressure sensor timers at the at Melrose at these meets that we see the pros going at. So the, the variables are different, you know? Uh, look, look, you never know what times are going to pop off here and there in college and some cats that are going to, you'll see race eventually later on and they get destroyed, yo. <laughs> the times don't mean nothing to me, yo. They don't Here's mean nothing to me. I, I need say. to see you line up with somebody. I will say this right here. The Melrose games, okay, they understand. I'm, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt of saying they understood how big this race is about to be. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt of them knowing this is about to be one of the most televised track and field races since Prefontaine, which Kerry came back. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt of knowing the whole entire world. <laughs> so they're going to boost the clocks. This. They're going to boost they, the clocks. Look, that's what I'm seeing trying to tell you, Jack. I ain't trying to say this. <laughs> All right, that's the only way that's coming out. Okay, uh, that that makes sense. There is no way in track and field history of life with this many eyes watching, they gonna let them times be slow. I don't, I'm, I don't get okay. that. They, they got to resurface the track. If they got whatever they got to do, it's too much. It, it's too much publicity at stake for it to happen the way you said it can happen. Based off the numbers, hey man, Milrose Games. If the Milrose Games has all of these eyes, they spent too much money on this race, too much money, <laughs> and you don't get but one six four and six fives and six sixes. Do you they know? Pay for that. What 
Come on, Look, Jack. Man. You already know they're well, not well, gonna do that. No, don't. Okay. Man, if gonna you, make if you say it like that. Bro, if you say it like that, that 58 meters first. <laughs> that's the only way. That's the only way six four will happen. That's the only well, way six four will happen. Well, 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 I, I still don't see it happening. We're gonna be debating if they change the line then, because them boys gonna go six four nine. They ain't even ain't nowhere in hell. Nah, man. Night, look, Nike not man. gonna have that. Puma not. Been, I mean, uh, 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 New Balance not gonna have that. They not gonna have their shoe company out there looking stupid in front of the entire world. Dropping those six five when these boys got Look, six man. four PRs, they it's it, it's it's more marketing than anything at this point. Like, trust me, don't folks you're gonna asking them, them put no sheet out. You're asking, mm, don't, don't you're asking some of them. You're asking some of them to PR in their first race. No, I'm not asking the PR. I'm not at well, all. You said six forty five for the win. Marvin Brayson might PR because he's okay, a six. So you said six forty five for the win. I'm just, I'm just doing. I'm not asking. I'm just going off what you said. I'm a very I'm good listener. I'm a very good listener. The PR, you said six forty five for the win. Yeah, okay? that's Marvin Bracey. You got Bracey Marvin Bracey winning. Six forty five for the win. Marvin Bracey winning. Yeah, Marvin Bracey runs six forty five. Okay, a PR in yeah. his first race. That's a tall ask. It's a tall ask. Not many people not PR in their first race. Did you not huh? hear my soliloquy about how they going to not, not let it happen? Still a tall ass, no man. ain't going to happen. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I think you're being very disrespectful to Christian Coleman. Very disrespectful. Very. So, so we, we, we already got the debate on the times. So you guys think it's going to be... You said multiple. You said, both of y'all said four people under 6'5", which is crazy to me. Well, I, said I don't three. know the last no, time. I said, I said two. I'm I going. Said two. You said two. Ray said four. Ray said four. I'm going four. I'm going four. I'm going four six four. You got four. But hold on. But but you got to go out. You better watch out. You be in the red cup. You might say three out here. You said. You be in the red cup. Last time. Wait wait wait. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Run and make her can't open up six four. Sure. 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 Can't open up six four. What I want to know is. What I want to know is, when is the last time in an opening race, four people in the race ran 6'4"? Okay. When was the last time you had four people that could run 6'4"? Thank the, you. That could run six, four thank you. Oh, thank uh, you. The World when Indoor Championships. Are you talking about the first race? In the first race? It doesn't happen often in the first race. Yeah, it doesn't happen in the no, first no, race. No, but it's, however it's, you it's slice it. You got four, six, four people in a race. And that's a PR. Have any of those guys. Okay. They're not going on six five, Jack. They're not going on six five. They're all going to open this six four. You guys think everyone's going to run their best race? Everyone's going to have a personal best. I'm going to end it with this. Like, come on, man. What are you guys saying right now? Everyone switch topics and get off this thing. I'm going to end it with this right here. This is why I feel like you're being very disrespectful, okay? Because Monday's name is Ray Edwards, and I'm going to toot my own horn and and, and uplift at the same time. I only ran six fifty five on that track. And you mean to tell me that the people who are 10 times better starters than me, and I ran 655 in 2008, you mean to tell me them boys can't run faster than 65? I'm not believing that, Andrew. I'm not going to make this big no boys like that, man. I, I seen, ran 655 I seen. on that damn track. You can't see and tell them boys 20 years later they can't run faster than race, and I'm gray and shit. You can't do that. Was it your, not, was it your first race? Was, was it your first race baby. of the season? Was it your first race of the season? Okay, well, you was a national. <laughs> so stop talking to me. Stop talking to me. It wasn't your first race of the season. And I seen, I seen Su Bing Jan, I seen Su Bing Jan run six, six five high on that track. Six six actually. Six five six six five high six five high no six six. And he's one of the best starters in the world. Yo, if his first race early, early in the season, it's unpredictable, yo. But I'm not about to sit here and be like, well, this time. In their first race, all four of them are going to run personal bests. No, or close to their personal bests. No. Bet a dollar. Bet a dollar right okay, now. Fine. I, I want right to bet a dollar. I want to bet a dollar. I bet a dollar on the time, and I want to bet a, to- a dollar on on the order. And and Shit. the winner of the bet, the more people you have in the top three, the more people you have in the top three, you win the bet. You call you in this bet too, because I'll take it. Top three? Uh, Christian Trayvon. And Marvin. Well, we all got the same top three. My top three can look questionable though, because like you think Christian might come fourth. I really think he might go. 
<laughs> you just, what is wrong? What is wrong with you, Doug? It's not. You <laughs> might go for it. Is there a so Ronnie getting three? Look, man. It's a fourth. It's a fourth. Look, man. To, look at look at who the top three. I'm saying though, it's a respectable fourth. It's not like he loses some Rudy Poos. Like if Christian Coleman loses to Trayvon Romero, that's respectable in a sixty in the first race. If Christian Coleman loses to Ronnie Baker, that's respectable in a first race. If he loses to Marvin Bracey, you know, and that one, look, you know, it, it's a race, but I'll, it's respectable if he loses to any of them head up. So now you got them all in the race. It's res- it, it, You can't just say- listen, people. I'm only saying this shit because I ain't seen the man running four years. I mean, two years. <laughs> I don't know what he looks like. He You're talking like he has a running four. Donkey, I don't know. <laughs> I can't. You're talking like he has a running four. I got a, I got a question. I got a question. So, the thing, so I don't, I don't think this is gonna happen. But I need to ask the question because I'm sure a bunch of people in the comments might have been thinking about it. But so we've been talking about three, maybe four people this entire time. We know there's eight people in this race. What would happen if a Noah Lyles ended up getting third? No, no, no. You well, I gotta no. get some more drink, but no. I gotta get. I gotta hold on. What you had? Call me to drink. Call me to drink. Like, what if one of these guys gets it? Omar McLeod gets the 60 meter hurdles. Who put it out? What if they do well? You got it. You said Omar, dog? Omar might have laughed at that, yo. Yo, I think Omar just happy to line up with them cats, yo. I think he's happy to get him a chance, man. He's like, I'm about to be fit after this race. That's all he's thinking, yo. We were talking about Noah Noah Lyles making the whole team. Nah, man. No, no, no. Listen, this is what I'd say. I would say I would not be surprised if one somebody shocked the world tomorrow. I wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me. The reason why I wouldn't, because again, it's Mill Rose. It would surprise me if it was USA Championships. By being Mill Rose, I'm not surprised. Like, you know, if 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 Joseph is, you know, if he hop out that thing, hi y'all, Noah, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm like, man, it's, it's Mill Rose. I'd be surprised later on, but I, you know, I don't think that shit's gonna happen more for nothing. Matter of fact. I'm just for the sake of the TV show. I'm just saying that, but ain't no way in hell, and there ain't nobody finished in front of the motherfucker. <laughs> no, no. no. Nah. <laughs> the biggest shock that could possibly happen. The biggest shock that could possibly happen is if Mm-mm. is if Ronnie won. If Ronnie won, shock. That would be a shock. No, that's not a shock. That's the biggest shock that could possibly happen. See, that's that's not really a shock. Oh, okay. That's, okay. The, okay. Most, yeah, that's the most. Yeah, that's the most crazy it's gonna get. That's the most crazy it's gonna get. Do you get, think yeah. Ronnie winning is more likely? Than uh, any of the bottom four getting three. Any, any so of the bottom. one of those guys getting third. No, they'll never get. Yeah, Ronnie has more chance to win than them guys getting in the top three. Yeah. All right, one of one, then, year, one of the. One year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be crazy. But track is so crazy. Guys. That's why track is oh, so I'm amazing. Like you don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, we thought. Based off the lane assignments, I keep telling you. Based off the lane assignments. Based off the lane assignments. I. I don't feel bad saying Coleman might get fourth. Only based off the lane assignments. Solely based on the lane assignments. Just based nah, on the nah. lane Because you said this shit before the lane assignments even came out, yo. This had nothing to do with lane assignments. You, you have him. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. oh come forth. No, no, okay. no. I'm saying okay. based yeah. on the yeah. lane assignments yeah. now, I can see him getting fourth. There's nobody to the right of him. He only got, come on, bro, you race. He only got somebody to the left of him. The race is going to be in three, four, five. It's not going to be in four, five, six because Coleman yeah. ain't got him out to the outside of him. He ain't but in the here race. It is, though. He's not in the Christian, race. But watch, Christian, in most cases, the way he gets out, he doesn't really feel anybody, anyways. Bro, two years There's ago. There's some people who the don't. The way LeBron was dunking. The way LeBron was dunking two years ago. Man. LeBron look. is 37 years old. I don't even Christian think Coleman just turned 20. Ago. Christian Coleman is a 26 year old. He's 25. Christian Coleman. He's turning 26 in March. Oh yeah, he's a Pisces. Pisces like me. He, he's turning 26. You're comparing him to LeBron James, who's on his way out, who's only holding on to play with his son. That's who you're comparing him to. Listen, that's not happening. Dog. Christian Coleman is approaching his prime. He's still approaching his prime. Use the damn lot on my camera. I'm gonna tell you why you're a lot. If you don't ran at the dang old Olympic Games in a college uniform, you are not approaching your damn prime no more. 
If you don't been to the games, if you don't broke a world record, you are not approaching your prime no more. You were, you were, you were in that mother trucker. So based off what you said, approaching his prime, he's gonna go break the indoor record again. No, the mileage. Well, Christian, this thing y'all do, Christian y'all went, based it off the age. It's not the age. It's the mileage. The man, the Christian man went to the Olympics. Got them eight or some shit like that. The man old in track and field. Christian. Christian? And, Christian and went as a sub. Old. Okay, but he went as a sub. He went as a sub. Okay, and on top of that, Bro, the years after that, he improved immensely. Wait, wait, wait! Time out! Time out! Time out! What happened in 2012? Eight years ago? No. Okay. Ten years ago, a decade ago, what happened? Was Christian Coleman running a whole decade ago? Yes or no? In 2012. I'm math right. A decade ago, was Christian <laughs> Coleman no running? Yo. You were in 2012, dog. It was 2016, yo. Okay, listen, whatever you so, go get some, go get some water, yo. Go get some water. Hold on, tell me Get some water and come back, yo. We'll wait. No, get some water. We'll wait for you. So again, a decade ago, how in the hell is he gonna be now approaching his prime? Based off okay. of actual life numbers, yes. In track and field, your clock start the minute you go sub ten. Your decline okay. starts then, like you know that. The minute your body okay. goes under ten, you you on the you, you you down here now. You down here now. Okay, now watch. That time you went to the Olympics. Every year subsequently, you ran faster and faster. That means you're still approaching your prime. It's not like he went there and then started to decline. He got better and better and better and better. He's approaching his prime. And if he goes as a substitute, I don't really think that counts as far as going to the Olympics. Individually, it's a totally different situation. When he goes individually, it's a different discussion. But as of right now, you go as a sub, you get your feet wet, you know what I'm saying? You kind of get, learn, you know, make friends on the team, understand how the system works, all that shit. Cool. Now when you go back, you go do your thing. But I don't think that really counted. He's an Olympian, yeah, but he's not like... So we're saying someone that has a world record. He's done something that billions of people have never been able to do. There are bil- mm-hmm. billions and billions of people have never ran the time that he has ran on the track. But and you guys still track. disrespect and him. And, and what? That's crazy to me. And he, wait, I missed the last part. You said there. You said he's not. He's approaching his prime. He's not in his prime. See, he's, right. he's, he's been he's been running these fast times for years. Like Ray was saying, well, like, twenty nineteen mileage on his legs. 20, when did he when did he win uh world indoors was that was 20 outdoors was 2019 um no indoors, indoors was 18 yeah because it's every other year so it'd be 18 yeah it's the world indoors i i have trouble feeling like that year was his peak or 2019 he was getting better yeah your peak isn't gonna be one race obviously it's gonna be hmm. like no nah, i'm saying he's developing yo he's a kid he's a kid man <laughs> you, and you can't say Christian Coleman's peaked, yo. He's a kid, bro. He's gonna get faster. A kid, a kid in what? Yeah, you said he could run nine four. You said he could yeah. run nine four. So I know you he feel like he could. He can, he, that he's not. He, yeah, so he's the approaching his prime. I'm saying he can run nine four because he's not in his prime. Okay. Okay. This is how I look at it. Okay. And I'm not going to use Bo an example, but he, I use Tyson. You don't hit that number in your prime. You hit it after your prime because it's more technical and it's more understanding than just running fast. So that's why I'm giving him 9-4 because he's ran so – the muscle memory, his DNA, it's in there. It's in there because he's done it so many times. Mm-hmm. So now 9-4 is more reasonable, okay? That's because, to me, his prime has already passed. So if I've hit my prime, if I don't hit my prime, now every time I box, every time I fight, do whatever it is, it's crisp now. So now when you're talking about breaking world records, it's no longer about, you know that, it's not about speed. It's about putting everything, every part of the race together. And the only way mm-hmm. you can put together a perfect race is if you've been in this sport long enough to where you've been there, done that, and now you'll hit Tyson Gale, America record 9-6. That shit came after chasing Usain Bolt. It didn't come when Tyson when, when, when Tyson won the world champs in 07. It didn't come then. It came two years later after having to already peak to get two medals. And now you don't have to chase this damn ghost. You understand what a perfect race is. 
So that's why I'm saying he can go nine four now because he's already past his prime. He don't need his prime. You're not gonna sit here and tell me you don't deal what Christian Coleman has done and you ain't hit your prime yet. If you got it by them standards, he got nine three and six two coming. Come on, Jack. <laughs> like, well, let's keep it real. I would say, I would say that six two isn't out of the question at some point. And nine six, three, I mean, come on. Six two. Do you think Chris Coleman can run six two? At some point, I do. He ran 34. He ran 34. He's That's right there. That's a lot of time. What's in your cup? Point oh four. What's in your cup? Point oh four. Think about it. Yeah, you know how much and, that is. And <laughs> look at <laughs> watch, 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 watch that six thirty four race. I've seen it a million times. Okay, he and it wasn't that great of a race. race. I know that. In that race. Okay, yeah, so think about that. that, that it, was, it was a. It was. It wasn't even that good of a race. And on it top wasn't. of that. He's getting better. It's four hundreds. Four hundreds. He had a bad race and he's getting better. He can make up four hundredths in that. So statistically Come on, that's a lot like, of time. Like, like taking a look at it. So like statistically, like sprinters, they reach their prime about at what? Twenty six? Like that's when you usually It's DR. between twenty six and thirty. Between twenty six and thirty, and somewhere in that range. So yeah. like so that means so he's running six you're saying he's running six two? That like that's and that means this year he could be running that type of time. Because that's his well, prime, right? So you're. I'm thinking. You I'm thinking. Christian I'm thinking more next year. This year. Hmm? I'm. I'm saying that. I'm saying that if Christian touches six three again this year, that's a success. Because, like you said, he he he's coming back, but his coming back is still going to be better than everyone else. But if he if he touches six three, I think he can be happy with that. Touching six three, I think may happen that, next year. I, 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 I don't know, man. I don't know. That's so all you, I'm gonna say. Six three this year, then, Anson. This year? Yeah. I can see him going it's 38, 39. All right. Somewhere I got around there. you. I said that for if, a whole if he, I got you now. You said so you think he's gonna run six three eight, but he can't run a six four nine today? Tomorrow? No. I'm talking about in March. <laughs> I am, he, he, I'm talking he, about in March. How do you know? Like, so, so wait, so you really? mean tell me? I, I got, got me. to track more news. So really? you mean tell so me? So it's January. He's going to run six five tomorrow. It's January. But he's going to run January. six three eight. Come on, February. It's January. It's January. It's January. It's January. He's going to run it's six January. five tomorrow. It's January. Six, Tell me the date of Milrose. Tell me the date oh of Milrose. God. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Tell me the date. It's the 29th. Tell me the date. It's March. It's March, February. March twelfth. So, so you mean in four okay, weeks so, you okay. six, so five, six worlds weeks. is March. Worlds is in March, right? What's the right? date? What's the date? March I think 12th. it's twelfth. Twelfth. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's so okay. In, in four nah. weeks, he going from six five to six two. Six three. So thirty nine. Thirty eight. Thirty nine. Okay, so now watch if if you run six five low. Now let me let me help you out with math. Cause I see both of y'all trying to gang up on me because I seem to have the most powerful, the most powerful discussion points right now. I'll t- I'll break the math down. He runs six fifty one tomorrow, patting himself on the right, back. and runs six thirty nine at the end of the season. That's one point two point one two seconds. Point one two. That's not that big of a gap to do in one indoor season. Yeah, both of y'all be quiet and do the math. Do you, you got a calculator over there, Colin? Is no, that I'm, what you're down at? No, I'm looking at I already said 0.12. Uh, 0.12. 0.12. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. It's not, not that big of a deal man. if you're training for it. Again, I don't think he's training for that. So since he's not training for that, it's a huge deal. Because now you ask him to do that. Do, Let's just call it what it is. We all know when Christian Coleman broke the world record, he was training to break the indoor world record. Mm-hmm. It didn't come during his outdoor training. No, he I trained don't know about that. literally to break it. So I don't know about that. wait a minute. Wait what? a minute. You want to hear something? I got something. I got something real quick. So you're saying that he was going to run a 6'5", six, 6'5", five, six, five, one at best, and then run a 6'3", whatever in six three eight by the end of the year you know what he ran in his opening race his opening race when he ran the world record the world record no his opening race the first one of the season january 19th didn't he run an invitational he ran six four, didn't he seven. run a, he ran the world record he ran yeah he that was the world record at the time 37 no 47 i know that opening race then his second race he ran six three seven 
which was January. Wait, that was the final, though. In the final. Sorry, the final. Yes. <laughs> so Doug, he, look, I understand that. So Listen, I, I still call it an opener record. for the final. Doug, I call the open. Okay, the way I talk, the opening race is the heat and the final. It's not the heat. Yeah. So, was, so whatever the meat is, the that's the opening thing. race. The whatever race. the meat is, that's your open race. That's how I look at it. The opening race is the whole meat. So you, I wouldn't call that 637 his second race. That's still his first race so to me. Even, still then. So he ran a 637, his opening race. Yeah. But you think that the opening race for this season, when he should be in his prime next year, he's going to run a 6-5? Like, no, so I'm saying coming up. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying considering, considering where they're running and considering what he's coming off of. Yeah, 6-5 low on that track. He's still winning. Yeah. Mm-mm. So six five low on that track. So I give him the most. I give him is forty eight. Only one person is going six four. If anything, remember said that. Only one person. If so anybody. you're saying I gotta, I gotta Coleman gonna through. win, gotta, and he ain't even nowhere close to being in shape, and he gonna win with six four high, and everybody I think else he's in gonna shape. be looking. So you mean tell? I think he's in shape. Because because I know they watching because they they texting me. I just want yeah. you to say it again. I think he's in shape. <laughs> so what you saying then? Yo, Christian, big up yourself, so, dog. Look at so, Don't listen to these cats over here. I don't know what they're saying. No. Just do your so ting, what dog. Is, do your ting, dog. And I still need that interview. I remember what we talked, what we spoke with about. Six point eight, and ain't nobody else gonna break six five. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> if he runs six four, if he runs six four, it'll be all six five after that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Real quick, real quick. I got, I got to head off. I do Thanks too. I, I gotta go. We get, we all went for two hours with answering this nonsense. <laughs> yo, yeah, man, this guy. We need, we need to, we need to, yo, the tweets and the posts after the race. Three. We doing part three. We I think, do part three. I think I we have to. Like, we, we, listen, we, we have, have, have to revisit. We have to we revisit after the race. We have to. The race is over with because I can't wait to get on here because I just, I just got a feeling. I'm going. I got my ticket to Milrose. Oh, you Oh, serious. Yeah, I live, oh, I, nice. live New York, I live in New Jersey. 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 I live and these have two rounds too. In, yeah, if I was in New York, oh, maybe not. No, nah, Birmingham New isn't until it's not until February. February. Yeah, New Balance is next week. I'm New going Balance there next nah. week. Yeah, yeah, yeah Birmingham. New Birmingham's in Birmingham's in uh, February nineteenth. Yeah, so okay. he's probably so going to New Balance in February. Yeah. That might be it. Yeah. yeah. All right, y'all. Well, listen, but, um, we don't we don't we don't give these folks an hour and forty two minutes of entertainment. Yeah. I appreciate my boy coming on at the last minute and, and giving. You know, get the facts straight. I really feel like we on 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 on, on real TV show right now. We really is on ESPN because Anthony got his head handed to him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, viewers, it's right. viewers, it's okay. viewers, it's okay. viewers, throw it's the A's okay. up. Throw the A's up, viewers. Viewers, throw the A's up. Throw the A's up if okay, you're feeling okay. me right now. All right. Throw the right, A's up. It. Viewers, y'all know what to do. We got 60 seconds. Let it go. Let it go. Who won this debate? Yeah, let's see them A's. You know what to do? A R or T. We even gonna let Track World News be in this thing. A R or T. Right now, I see number A's. I see A's for you. I see A's. Number A's. Oh, Jack, come on with. Yo, you have very. Wait, wait. You have a very smart fan base for me. They're very smart. Wait, wait. Yeah, it's wait. just. Wait, I got their A's. It's A's. You know what? It's got a whole bunch very of intelligent. Got the I'm, you know Your what? fan base is very intelligent. They're very <laughs> intelligent. <laughs> I, this is why I rock with them because they, they ain't biased, okay? They gonna hello take everybody and welcome. Say, they ain't gonna just ride to with Ace Take. My show. They gonna keep it one hundred. I'm gonna go with them, and guess what? When tomorrow come on, I'm going at you in every last one of their asses. I'm telling you that. All them A's of asses. I'm going at all y'all tomorrow. All y'all tomorrow. Now, get ready. I'm going to get a hole in the bottle tomorrow. Whole red cup action. Christian, y'all get tomorrow. Christian, do your ting, dog. Do your ting. Do your ting, dogs. Right. I'll hey, be tuned in. I'll be having. Right. A, I'll have the live but reaction, man. Let us get live reaction. Respect. In all seriousness, though. But in all seriousness, though, all three of us fan base and everybody, y'all know this is just what we do. We really win the best for every athlete that's out there running tomorrow. We don't really care who wins. You know what I'm saying? This is what we do to liven up our sport because this is what we love to do. 
We don't give a care who wins tomorrow. All we want is everybody to go out there and give it the best they can and walk off the track injury free so that we can keep doing what we do over here on this commentating side. But for the most part, it's all laugh. It's all fun. Every athlete that we're talking about know it. That's why they come on our show. It's no disrespect to anybody. It's just what we do. And, and I'm overly excited, overly happy that I had the chance to actually have both of these guys on here tonight because I've been watching both of them do they thing and they allow me to come in and create raise takes. So I truly appreciate y'all because this is one thing I really wanted to do, which was get both of y'all or all three of us on a round table discussion like this. And I really hope that we can do it again because I know like this is for me, this has probably been the most fun I've had doing this. Like I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real because I appreciate the fact that when Track World News come on, he coming on with stats. When Anson come on, he come on hating. So it's your best fucking show. <laughs> 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 this cast hey. that I was hating, yo. Yeah. Yo, hey, man. This is going to be exciting to race. man. I appreciate it. I love watching y'all stuff. Both y'all. Yo, let's get unconventional back, Anson. Come on. Let's get I'm going. Trying to tell you. Oh, no. We, we're about to get a pop in after the after this track me. Jade was kind of like, you know what? I, just, I need some inspiration. Let some meets happen. I need some inspiration. I was like, all right, girl, we can do that. So we'll be back. We'll be back. We got an episode coming out early February. Um, but yeah, man, yo, y'all keep doing your thing, yo. And like I said, track and field is going to be pushed forward by the storytelling. And we're at the forefront of that, yo. And like I told you, Ray, got a plan. Got a plan. The evil genius stuff. You're involved too, Colin, but I've got right. a plan. He just evil. He ain't no genius. He just yeah. evil. <laughs> Track ain't going nowhere. That's all I'm saying now. Not at all. Not at all. Hey, yeah. I'm going to yeah, let y'all go and go in, and I'm going to go and get out of this thing, and I appreciate y'all. This has truly been the longest show I've ever had and one of the most fun I've ever had. So I yeah, appreciate y'all. Yeah. I want to apologize to your mom, too. Let me apologize to your mom. Huh? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I want to apologize. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm sorry all I did right. this to your son, y'all. Uh, all right, y'all. Take all care right. of yourself. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, and there you have it. Another rage tape. I keep trying to tell y'all, man. This thing ain't going off the chain, man. Y'all see how how this thing growing? You know what I'm saying? I got the other the other my boys coming in. And, you know what I'm saying? And you can get all of the, the the track and field YouTube analyst people. We got to get our girls on here next. We got to make sure you know what I'm saying. Natasha, come on, y'all, come on. You already see it. Come on, come on with it. Come on with it. Um, outside of that, Miro's games continues tomorrow. Um, thank y'all for watching Race Take and all that good stuff. Love y'all and. After tomorrow, we'll see y'all again. As always, my Jerry Springer thing, take care of yourself and others. Love yourself, love everybody, but love yourself more because if you don't love yourself more, you can't love nobody. <laughs>